Hi everyone, welcome back to another Plan With Me video. This is Elise of Plan With Elise, and today we are planning in my dashboard Happy Planner layout for the week of April 5th through 11th. So first off, I'm going to take my Paper Mate Dryline Ultra and cover up these headings because I like to put in my own. If this is your first time watching one of my dashboard videos, this is the planner that I use for all things plan with Elise related. So it uh, helps with my social media, it helps with my schedule for YouTube, um, anything that I'm an affiliate on, uh, any other projects that I'm working on, it's all plan with Elise related. So I forgot that I have this older spring sticker book and what better time to use it than now. So let me just grab, I thought I pulled out wax paper, but I'm gonna pull out a little bit more. Okay. All right. So spring is here finally. And in New Jersey, it's going to be a rainy few days. So hopefully it doesn't last too long. Okay. Oh, look at these little St. Patrick's, these clovers that would have been so cute. All right. I think first up, I just want to pull out, I don't know why these two sheets are loose. Maybe they fell out of this book or maybe they were from a different pack, but let's just get these stickers out. Seem a little bit more challenging than usual to get out. Okay, I've got those. Don't know about these yet, maybe rainbow. Uh, let's pull out some headings. This is going to be a more colorful spread. I know typically I do like monotone or, or monochrome or like dual tone, dual chrome. Is that what you say? I don't know. Um, in my dashboard layout, but I think this week is going to be bright colors. Okay. Um, I could probably use these. Which ones to do though? We'll take, let's take this color and this one. Okay. And then we don't need any of those bigger boxes. These ones, these these smaller ones can work. Okay, so let's pull out. I'm kind of just pulling from these colors over here. So even though I have uh, several colors, I'm going to try to stick with like the same several colors, if that makes any sense. Okay, and then I like no rain, no flowers. Let's take that one out. Okay, I don't really do these bucket list ones. Let's get some more spring icons. I love this bouquet of flowers. I kind of have to take an umbrella, right? Oops. these. Okay, while I'm continuing to go through the sticker book, let's talk about what's open right now. Enrollment at Wild University. This month, uh, just so you know, Wild University is a subscription-based platform for all things planning related. Uh, this month, it's a double major. So we have spring cleaning with At Home with Nikki, which I'm really excited about. Oh, maybe I want to use these which I'm really excited about because even though I just moved into my apartment a few months ago, uh, who doesn't need a spring cleaning refresher, right? And then the second one is organization with uh, pretty neat living. And so I think both of those are probably something that a lot of people can use. I know that I want to reorganize my uh, planner supplies and I kind of want to organize my closet a little bit better. Like my hanging stuff is pretty good and perfect but like I have this um my closet is all built-ins so I'm sorry I'm just trying to like figure out what to use next here my closet is all built-ins and you know I'm gonna hold off on talking about that until I actually can think and look at these so hold on let's let's focus all right what colors would work well here you know what I want to take this out 
I'm gonna repurpose it. There's joy. Hello spring. I don't love any of these. I feel like none of them really match. I'm not sure we're gonna be using those. Okay. All right, as I was saying, my closet has built-ins and right now I'm using like, I'm putting sweatshirts in them, but I just kind of want to do a little refresher and see what else I can do for this area in my home. So those are the two monthly majors. So it's home organization and spring cleaning. And I'm excited. Uh, also, I have a class in Wild University this month, it is a reels class. So all about how to do Instagram reels. We do three reels together, or I show you how to do three reels in the class. And uh, I think I can't wait to see what everyone comes up with. Okay, I just went into one of my extra sticker boxes because I wanted to pull out a couple of things. I wanted to pull out these habit trackers and these social media icons that I got from Proud Sticker Designs. All right, let's Let's get some planning going on. So, put this bicycle right down here. Let's kind of bring these flowers here. And about no rain, no flowers right there. Okay. And now I'm going to take these two. I call these tombstone stickers. I don't know what other shape they are. We'll cut off the top and just use them as box stickers. And down here is where I put my stacks. So um, my following count on Instagram, my subscriber count on YouTube at the beginning of the week and at the end of the week. Okay, now the next thing that I was thinking was I wanted to take this and I've done this before. I don't know if I've done it recently or if I've done it on YouTube at all. But I want to cut this into strips. So I started happy planning in April of 2018. And then I started my YouTube channel, I think, in July of 2020. So there's a lot of spreads and stuff that I've done that I've shared on Instagram over those two-ish years that were never on uh, on YouTube. So sometimes I like to go back and kind of remake some old spreads so I can share with you the process, uh, but I haven't done that in a, little, in, in a while. Okay, here we go. So now I'm going to just take these strips that I cut and put them up here. And these are going to sort of serve as just like color borders, I guess, for these boxes. We've got that one. Uh, we can put the pink over the pink. And then let's take this purple. This will have to go a little bit higher. And we'll put this teal. So there's a way to add multiple colors right away. And then because there's still the little box part there, this is not the pen I was looking for. This is the pen I was looking for. So Deborah of Planning Plumber gave me this Uniball Signo and I think it's really good. It's definitely better than the Jelly Roll so far. Okay, no complaints yet. Okay, now let's go for these two headings. So I think we'll do this one and this one. And then Okay. It's a lot of color. It's a little bit more color than I'm comfortable with, but it's okay. All right, now I have these uh, old stickers, Habit Trackers from Daily Cuteness. And I think this pink works pretty well here. So I'm going to put my Habit Trackers right here. 
All right, now let's go to the other side of the spread for a minute. So let's just put in some of these flowers throughout this. Make it a little bit more decorative and fun. I'm getting a little bored of the dashboard layout, but let me, let me be specific. I'm not getting bored of using the dashboard layout. It works for me. It's incredible functional for functional. It's inc it's incredibly functional for me. And it works perfectly for my purposes. I'm getting a little bored of decorating it because I feel like in my dashboard layout, my spreads look the same every week. In my classic and my big and my wellness planner, which is a horizontal, I have the opportunity to really switch it up and do whatever I want to do each week. And sometimes they look more similar. You know, sometimes there are florals at the top and the bottom and around boxes and, and stuff. Sometimes I put stuff in the middle. Um, I, it's, it's different because I feel like I have that opportunity. The dashboard layout is very segmented. And the fact is, I don't need it to be decorative, right? But I also don't know if you are bored of these videos. Like every time, every week when you tune into one of my dashboard videos, it's kind of the same thing with different stickers. And I don't know if that still interests you or not. Okay, that's my that's my thing about, about the dashboard. And again, love the layout, but feel a little eh about decorating it lately. All right, I also want, maybe these bouquets won't work together, but why not, right? Why can't they work together? And just kind of put that one in. Let's put that there. I do need to cut these now. If I didn't already mention, uh, the links to sign up for Wild University are in the description of this video. There is, it's $22 a month if you sign up for the monthly membership and $190 for the year if you sign up for annual Enrollment is only open from the 1st through 10th each month, but all of the content that happens, like all of March's content will be there in April, right? So if you missed out on March and you were interested in it, uh, it'll all be available in April. And one of the best parts about Wild University, honestly, is the Llama Lounge. The Llama Lounge is a Facebook group specifically for members of Wild University. And that's where everyone shares their progress or their non-progress, um, tips, tricks, all of that. It's, a, it's really a great Facebook group because only those who have signed up for these paid memberships are part of the Facebook group. There is no drama. There's, uh, there's no negativity. It's just a really uplifting and, and positive space. Okay, I moved those around a little bit because I wanted to include the rain boots and I just didn't really have the space. Otherwise, um, I think we also need a little umbrella somewhere in here. Let's throw that umbrella up here. Okay, some more boxes to be used. So let's put this one right over here. And Saturday filming day. So Saturday is going to get a box. Okay. Now I do need some more bullets and notes. So I'll just quickly, I made a, one of the DIY storage clips, DIY. I don't know what these are called. DIY sticker books, maybe with all different kinds of bullets that I had. So I think that this, these would be perfect. So let me kind of play around color wise. I'm not really seeing this violet. Unless it's here, it's kind of there. Let's, let's go. Um, I could be very extra and use the discs. I don't think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> let's see.
Okay. Hmm. All right, let me, let me do the thing because one of the benefits of these DIY storage books or DIYs, I need to figure out what they, these are called, is that you can take them apart. So taking off the backing on this takes a moment, but it makes the stickers so much easier to pull off than the way they are now because you don't get stuck with the paper part of it. You're gonna to wanna to do it kind of slowly so you don't lose stickers like I seem to be doing here. You can just press down on those if you start to lose them. There's a couple that I'm seeing are not coming off, but I'm okay with it. I have a lot of bullet stickers. All right, that's a lot though. Let's, let's just push these down. Make them stay where they belong. You could probably do this before you start instead of halfway through like I'm doing it. All right, whatever. We're just gonna we're just gonna let that be for the sake of time. Okay, now I've got those extra stickers all over me. I think I was mid-sentence on something when I started to do that, and I don't remember what it was. Okay, let's pull this up this triangle right over here. Oh, okay. I remember what I was saying. So the bullets are very functional for, I mean, they should be functional for anyone, depending on no matter how you use a dashboard layout. Uh, I just want to see these colors kind of have them open here. Okay. Let's bring in some yellow. Um, the reason that they're so functional for me during the week is I have a full-time job outside of all the planning things that I do. And with spring here and vaccines out and, oh, I have my vaccine on Wednesday, my second vaccine. Okay. With spring here and people out and about again and life, you know, happening sort of still different because of safety and masks and all of that. I want to be sure that I'm giving myself time to live my life um, during, like I said, I started my YouTube channel in July. And then um, in August, my life changed a bit. Uh, I moved out of where I was currently living and I lived in a hotel to quarantine for a while um, before I could move in with family. And so from like the end of September through the end of December, I was living with my mom and my stepdad. And then I moved into my apartment. And anyway, most of that time was like fall into winter. Um, really wasn't doing much because of COVID and weekends were filled with YouTube, uh, filming and planning and prepping and all of that kind of stuff. Now that things are changing again, weekend plans are changing. Um, I mean, even just looking here, well, I have a family thing and I also have my nephew, uh, my nephew has a soccer game because sports are back. But what I'm trying to get at in a very long winded way is I love doing this. It's, it's a source of income for me that I need right now. Um, but aside from the, I didn't start this for the money. This is something I love doing. However, I'm very careful lately to make sure that I'm not missing my life because I'm planning my life, if that makes sense. If I spend so much time planning and not actually living, uh, I'm, not, I'm not going to be happy. I never want to say to someone, I'm sorry, I can't see you and I can't spend time with you because I have to film a YouTube video. Um, that's just not the life that I really want to live. So anyway, back to the bullets, I'm trying to film as much as I can during the week to kind of give myself the weekends off. So what I've been doing is waking up a couple of hours before I start work and filming. So right now, for example, it is Wednesday at about 7:30 in the morning, Wednesday of the previous week. And then, um, Typically, I'll film after work also. So if I can get one or two videos filmed Monday through Thursday even, because who knows what my Friday plans are, but if I can fill up these four to five days with one to two videos per day, that does free up my weekends a little bit. Okay, let's put this on the desks. 
and see how it came out. I don't think that it's the most cohesive spread, but I think that it's bright and springy and that's exciting to me. I'm just flipping to the page in my planner where these are. Oh, I forgot to cut this. Oops. Okay, no need to punch it since it's just one Oops. little hole that was covered. Okay, here we go. Here is my spring little dashboard spread. I think it's pretty. Um, not my favorite, but it's bright and colorful. And I do think it's a little bit different, a little bit different than, than my, my normal. So that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do take a moment to subscri subscribe and like this video and I'll see you next time.